Hi everyone, welcome to Anyone Can Travel. We love to share travel tips and guides to help you travel more and vlog tours so anyone can travel with us. We started traveling internationally multiple times a year back in 2017 and we learned that flying doesn't have to be crazy expensive. In this video, we'll share how we found flights to Paris for $430, Rome for $485, and Croatia for $365, all round trip and all from Salt Lake City. We'll also answer common questions like, is there a best time of day or week to buy flights? Before we dive in, there's one thing that makes finding cheap flights exponentially easier, and that is flexibility. Whether you have flexibility on the dates that you're traveling or on your destination, and it's even better if you have both. It doesn't mean that you can't find cheap flights when you have a very specific destination or dates in mind, but it is a lot harder. As a beginner, you will want to become very familiar with Google Flights. There may be other sites that are helpful when searching for cheap flights, but you'll want to master Google Flights first. Google Flights compiles data from over 300 airlines, but there are a few that are missing, and most notable is Southwest. So you'd have to check Southwest individually, but that would depend on your destination since Southwest flies US domestic, Mexico, Central America, and the Caribbean. So if you're trying to fly to Europe, it wouldn't be necessary to search Southwest since they don't fly there. Also, there are several large Asian carriers missing such as Air China, China Eastern, Thai Airways, and Philippine Airlines. I know this is a lot of information and I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible for beginners, but there's just so much great information to share. So I wanted to remind you that you can save this video on YouTube so you can reference it at a later date. We've also added handy chapters so you can easily skip through sections when you come back to check the most important parts for you. All right, back to Google Flights. Google Flights is very intuitive and easy to use. You just add your destinations and then you can play around with different filters like the number of stops, which airlines or partners, if you have carry-on bags, when the flights leave, what airport you connect through, and how long the flight is. I recommend leaving those blank at first and then using it to narrow down your options. Now for the best features, the money saving features. The date grid and price graph can be used to find the best dates to travel to your desired destination. When you have flexibility with your travel dates, this is helpful. There is no set day that is the best day or time to buy flights. A lot of people will say like Tuesdays at 1 p.m. are the best time to buy flights and that's just not true anymore. It may have been true in the past when airlines manually updated flights on a set day and time, but now that's all done automatically. There are, however, best days of the week to travel on, and that's going to be weekdays. Weekdays will generally be less expensive than weekends. That doesn't mean you can't find good deals on the weekends. It's just a little bit harder. If you're flexible on destination, you can search for multiple locations or even an entire region like Europe to find the best deal. Why fly to Paris for $1,000 when you can fly to a variety of other European cities for around $700? You save $300 right there, and that's not even what I would call a deal. When searching a region, it takes you to this explore mode, which is great if you are flexible on destination, but not date. You can put in all your criteria and even put anywhere, and it will show you the cheapest options that fit what you're looking for. Some people call this planning your trip backwards. It's much cheaper to find the best deal on your flight and go there instead of trying to make it to one specific destination. Plus, it's a fun way to explore new places you may never have considered before. If you're not flexible on date or destination, you can set price alerts. Price alerts will alert you if the price decreases. The best time to buy flights domestic is usually one to three months before, and for international, two to eight months before. After that, it gets less likely that you're going to find a good deal. There's always exceptions, but I just wouldn't wait too long. There are some charts in this section that will help you understand what is a good price and what the prices have looked like historically. Another common myth is that your searches for flight prices will cause the prices to go up. The general consensus is that's just not the case. Flight prices just change very quickly, and that's why you should take advantage of the 24-hour rule if you find a good deal. The 24-hour rule means that you have 24 hours to cancel your flight for a full refund if you meet this criteria. The flight must leave more than seven days in the future, it must depart or arrive into the US, and you must have booked directly with the airline. 
They also sometimes offer a 24 hour free hold period instead of this 24 hour cancellation. So when you're booking, keep an eye out for that. If you find a good deal and you're not sure if it works with your dates, with your travel partner, you need to check with work, you should definitely book the flight as soon as possible and take advantage of that 24 hour rule to decide if it works for your schedule. Otherwise, the price could change very quickly and you would miss out on that deal. Google Flights is great for finding deals, but no one has time to be constantly searching for those deals. And that's where a flight deal service comes in. I love these, and this is actually how we started traveling initially. Back in 2017, we were planning on going to Cancun and tickets were gonna be about $600 a person. But we got an email from Expedia and they had a deal for Paris for $430. So we decided why not go to Paris for less? Shortly after, we learned about flights from home and we saw deals to Croatia for $365 and Rome for $485 posted on their Instagram and booked them via Google Flights. Flights from home finds deals from Salt Lake City and Las Vegas and has free emails and a free Instagram account and a paid subscription as well. If you're not in Salt Lake City or Vegas, check out Going. I currently have their paid subscription, but I've also used their free subscription before and it's the best out of the handful that I've tried. I've also included included a link to sign up for their free email list in the description as well as in the corner right now. So you can um, sign up if that's something that you're interested in trying, I would highly recommend it. Salt Lake City is a larger airport, but not nearly as large as airports like JFK, SFO, LAX, and Atlanta. And I even see deals from smaller airports like Santa Ana, California and Kalispell, Montana, um, such as a recent one I saw with $550 to Europe. So even if you don't live near a large airport, don't worry, you'll get deals as well. Going will email you about deals as they find them, or you can go to their website and review what deals they've currently found. These services don't sell the tickets or get a kickback from the airline. Most will direct you to Google Flights to book, so understanding all the filters will help you find the best options for you. You won't get all the deals as a free subscriber, but it's a great way to try it out and see if you'd like to get more deals with the paid subscription. Subscriptions start at $50 a year, and they have a premium subscription for first class deals. That's 200 a year. Even without a paid subscription, if you're handy with Google Flights, you can probably figure out some of the deals, although the quick link is super helpful. And that is our introduction to finding cheap flights for beginners. I hope this guide helps you travel more and explore new destinations. As a recap, here are three tips for beginners. First, use Google Flights to find the best dates to travel, track prices, and explore new destinations. Second, use the 24 hour rule to hold good deals when you still need more time to decide. And three, use a flight deal service like Going to find great deals with minimal work. Thanks for watching. I hope that you found this video useful. Please like, subscribe, save this video for future use, and we will see you next time.